What does the right of access to healthcare entail? Welcome to the Civics Academy Constitutional Rights Series. These videos explore some of our constitutional rights and the institutions designed to support and enforce them. In order to assert our rights, we need to know their meaning and what they include. To use our democratic institutions appropriately, we need to understand their mandate and how they function. This video deals with the right of access to healthcare services in section 27 of the Constitution. What does the right of access to healthcare say? Section 271A and 272 grant everyone the right to access to healthcare services including reproductive health care. The state must take reasonable steps within the resources available to it to ensure that all people get equal access to quality and complete health care over time. Section 27.3 also states that no one may be refused emergency medical treatment. This right is not subject to resource availability and has immediate effect. What does the right to adequate health care require the state to do? Section 27 does not require the state to provide every person with the best available health care immediately. It does require the state to take reasonable steps so that over time, more and more people will have better access to healthcare services. This includes access to affordable medicines, doctors, and hospitals for people who are not able to pay. Even with limited resources, the state must have a clear plan on how it will increase the number of people that have access to better quality healthcare services. This plan must also address the needs of the most vulnerable people in society. This plan must be implemented in an efficient and effective manner. The state must move as fast as possible towards the long-term goal of ensuring that everyone has access to quality healthcare services. This means that the state may not divert money away from health services or wasted on corruption. In the case of Minister of Health and others versus Treatment Action Campaign and others, the Constitutional Court relied on the right to access to healthcare services and ordered the state to provide medication that could prevent pregnant women from passing HIV onto their newly born children. The court ruled that the state was not allowed to prevent access to the drugs. Over time, the state provided this medicine to other people who needed access to it for free. The right to access to healthcare services was therefore used to literally save the lives of thousands of people who would have otherwise died. The duty not to refuse emergency medical treatment. People who need emergency life-saving medical attention have a right to receive this at the closest hospital. Private hospitals usually only cater for patients whose treatments are covered by medical aid or who can pay the fees. Section 27.3 of the Constitution prohibits private hospitals from turning away patients whose lives are in danger regardless of their ability to pay until they have been stabilized and can be transferred to a public facility. Summary The Constitution guarantees everyone the right of access to healthcare services. This does not mean that everyone has the immediate right to the best possible medical treatment at state expense. It does mean that the state must provide medical treatment to those who cannot afford to pay for it. The state must take steps to ensure that an increasing number of people have access to continuously improving healthcare services as fast as resources will allow. No medical facility can turn away a patient 
who is in need of emergency medical treatment.